my name is Thomas Foster and this is another episode of a multi-part tutorial on Massive X by Native Instruments. In this episode we look at the performer, a kind of small DAW in our plugin, which we can make unique modulations as I do not know of any other synthesizer. Have fun! To start we load another sound, let's go for a bass and we take the Resolute. Let's listen to this. All right, and here we see the uh, modulator 2, the envelope 2, is uh, modulating our frequency. Um, let's bring this down a little bit. So we click on E2, go down with the mouse, yeah, close to zero, something like this. Okay, and now we give a little bit more resonance and Okay, let's keep it like this at 11 o'clock. Now we want to make a modulation by the performer. So we take the cross on top of P1, click on it, and now while we hold down the mouse, we move it to this second bag here on the frequency. All right. And now we click on P1 and move up the mouse to tell the system, to tell Massive how much we want to control the frequency. Okay, let's go now to P1. So we click on P1 and now we can click on this point, move it up a little bit and click somewhere else. And move it down. And maybe we click here and move it up again. Very cool. If we click on the line, we can move the line to make it a curve. And maybe we go down here. And make also here a curve. All right, but here are other great tools. Um, let's take this one that looks like a square, and I click here and here and here, and we make little steps. And because the grid here is in eighth notes, uh, it's in time to our DAW. Maybe we make here smaller steps, here bigger steps, that we get a little more interesting rhythmic. Very cool. Um, we can change the grid for sure. Let's go from eighth note notes to uh, one third, 32's notes. 32 notes? <laughs> All right. Okay, maybe we make it with some steps here. You see how simple I just click here and move the mouse up. There's another tool where we can make a square to the, in the other direction. Let's go here to 16th. Uh -huh. Or you can use um, this one here to make it looking like this, to make curves. Oh, isn't it great? And you can use this tool here to make steps. You see, it's very easy. Just try one of these and be creative. At the moment we work just on one bar, but there are more bars. 
To see all bars, you have to zoom out. Here, you see this line here. We click on the right point and move it to the right. Now, you see that you have eight bars. All right. But maybe we just want to hear one bar in the loop. So we can make this eight bars shorter. Not coming. All right. Let's take this point here, the black one, and move it to bar two. And now we made a loop of one bar and we can zoom in again in this bar. At the moment, our automation goes up and down. So from the point where the frequency is, we move to the right and also to the left. Always when the curve goes down, we move to the left. Uh, but you can change this here where it says BI, you go to Uni and now you just go up from this point. So everything you do is on top of the point of the frequency. Maybe we'll make this shorter here. I like that. Mm -hmm. So. And here's another great feature. We cannot make just one automation. We can make 12 automations. To do this, we click here at the symbol on the left side from P1. Okay. And now you see the automation we did here in this first square. Why does it look different? Because we see all eight bars. That's what we see here in the small graphic. Let's go back here. Uh, and now we click on the second square to make another automation. Let's take this one here and do it like this. And again, we see eight bars. That's why it looks different. Uh, maybe they should change it. It would be nicer if we just see what we hear. So at the moment I go to this point here, I would love to see just this one bar because I hear just this bar. Another feature Native Instrument can bring with the update. Um, yeah, let's go to uh, square number three and here we do something else. I don't know, something like this. Okay. And now I can change between these three by clicking on these points here, on these buttons here, one, two and three. Let's listen to this. Yeah. You can click before because you just hear it at the moment you click to a new note. So I change it now. Still we hear number one and now I press the next key. Here it is. So now it's not so cool to change this here with the mouse. Uh, and you don't have to, because there's a remote feature. To activate it, we click this button here. And now you can set uh, Octave, where you can remote these buttons here. I have a very small keyboard, so I go now to the same octave that I'm using to play. I think it's uh, here at the C2. No, maybe it's... Yeah, here it is. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, and I press now C2, so we have now this here. I press now uh, C sharp, and now we changed to the second one. Now I press the D. And the C again, D, C, D, C, D sharp, D. You see, very easy, I can remote this. So you can use now one active to remote this and another to play the notes. And it's very interesting where the sequence starts to play. At the moment, let's give this away again. Whenever I press a new note, um, it starts again. So. Let's go to this one here. I press now. Uh, also, here we have to change here. And now it's running in a loop. At the moment I press the next key, it starts again. 
Zack, zack. Okay, whenever I press a new key, it starts. As long as I don't play legato. If I play legato, it keeps running, but when I press a new key, it starts again. But we can change this to remote. And now it's not starting when I press a new note, but it's starting when I press the remote keys. Start, 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 start. All right. So you can be very creative. And sure, you could make this also with your DAW, but in fact, with this feature, you can use it live and it's much more fun, it's much more easier and you can save it with your presets. So that's a really cool feature. This is an episode of a multi-part tutorial on Massive Axe by Native Instruments. You find all episodes on my YouTube channel, Thomas Foster Music Production. My name is Thomas Foster and if you like producing music then you probably need regular audio loops. So good sounding drum loops, percussion, guitar, vocal and many other samples. And there is a new exciting web page I'm involved in developing, Mutant.com. Mutant is a search engine for audio loops and samples. The stuff sounds really great and is well produced and mastered. The incredible thing is that all thought Mutant actually sees itself as a web shop. At the moment almost all sounds are free. You do not have to enter an email address. Just go to mutant.com, search for the desired audio file and click download. And it's really fun to work with. At that point I say thank you for being there, always stay creative, cheers! Mm -hmm.